Um, I've just got one transaction. Uh, we signed tight end Josh Peterson and uh, defensive tackle Ryan Glasgow went on the reserve list, uh, retired. So it was a one for one this morning. Um, any questions? Sean, did you feel, did you feel like you guys felt the heat today, maybe more so than any day yet? Did you um, notice it? I don't, I, don't, I don't know specifically. It was a red zone install for the first time. I thought defensively we did a lot of, I, look, I thought uh, the enthusiasm and the energy on that side of the ball was good. I mean, we'll look at the tape, but um, not as good offensively. Sean, several consecutive days and pads ending up with this one. How do you feel like they handled the whole process? I think overall pretty well. I mean, we're still in the early stages of, of camp, but, uh, you know, I felt maybe six, seven, eight days ago it was a little warmer than it is now. And, you know, guys, are you're fighting through the installation. You, you've got to be able to, you know, quickly pick up what we're doing. And then on Monday we'll, we'll use the same, uh, the same area of emphasis relative to the red zone, tight red zone. You've heard uh, Cesar Ruiz say he's just uh, things are going a little bit slower for him. At that position specifically, like how important is that when, when you're able to just kind of go out there and play and not think about it? Well, I, I think it's real important. Um, he's had a good off season, and uh, so I think he's more and more comfortable, more and more confident. Um, he's playing better. He's playing better. He's strong, and uh, so far he, he's had a good training camp. Did uh, Blasco, was he the one that wanted to retire or how did that happen? He just came in this morning and he had been thinking about it and, uh, you know, it happens time to time. So he's going to go back, go to school and, and get, a, get his master's. And uh, and then we had worked out several tight ends uh, on yesterday, yesterday after practice. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But could you envision uh, then wanting to bring in another defensive? Um, yeah, possibly. You know, it, it, where we're at before we start the preseason, possibly, yeah. Sean, could you talk about Chauncey Gardner Johnson? Is his emotion, his like that fire, is that important for your defense? Would you say? Well, it's it's his personality, and you never want to, um, you know, you never want to change someone's personality. His his focus on the details is something he's working on. You know, as you watch the cutups from a year ago. You know, understanding the leverage, understanding the scheme, and and really fine tuning the little things. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's an emotional game, and uh, and you know, he's one of those players that that obviously plays with that type of emotion, and it's just you know making sure that it doesn't cross the line. But he had a good practice today. Or would you say you've seen good things out of him in this camp overall? Yeah, and yet still there's some technique things that we want to clean up early on, especially early on. And uh, it's just play in, play out, on to the next play. The exactness of his position and the, the attention to detail is something that I know that is a big area of emphasis. And uh, yeah, he understands that. So, so, have you seen Peyton Turner come on a little bit more since so, the so past game? You, you see him each day. Um, you know, whether it's a tip pass, whether it's, uh, you know, a win on a pass rush, um, continue to working with, working with him on, on the run game, but he's having a good camp, you know, for a young player. A couple of the offensive linemen have mentioned, like, his plan and that it's a little bit surprising how far along he is. Is that something you've noticed? He's smart, and so uh, I think he's a fairly mature kid for his age, and, uh, you know, it, when we get into the games, we'll have a chance to see him, you know, versus someone else live, and that'll be uh, good for our evaluation. But I think he's coming along well. Is it fair to say uh, Will Jordan Humphrey has kind of made some strides as a receiver? I think this week has been a pretty good week. Yeah. You know, he catches the ball well, naturally in his hands. You know, he, he can stay on the ground without jumping. He's had a few good catches inside. He's a pretty smart player. Sean, sure, it seems like you guys. I mean, you always rotated defensive tackle, but that, that one's really hard to get a peg on with six, seven guys kind of turning it out. Do you really like the depth there, and is it as wide open? Well, look, I think it is wide open, and considering three of the four guys that, you know, play, we played year, you know, week in and week out last year with, you know, aren't available, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be important. The development of that group and, and 
the competition at, at that group is is going to be real important. You uh, you mentioned cornerback as a must before. I don't think I've heard you say that about defensive tackle. Are there a couple of the young guys that you guys are so high on in the building that you don't feel like that? That's a position of need. Necessarily? Yeah. Look, we're we're paying attention to it. There's some young guys that we feel like are doing well, and. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll constantly be paying attention to the final cutdowns to see if there's someone that, that we think can upgrade or help us. But right now, we're focused on coaching the guys that are here. Sean, how do you think that play would be called uh, with the fish aid with the rules with Chase Hansen running over Stevie Scott? Because they, they look like the fans get fired up. Like, it looks like helmet to helmet. I mean, is that, that uh, you don't make no call? I'm or? not sure. I didn't see the play. What, what period? It was right there in the red zone down here when, when Hanson ran over Stevie Scott. It looked like, you know, battering ram. And Scott, yeah. That was a pass pro. On yeah. The play. yeah, I, I, I want to take a look at it. Okay. All right, thank you. Thanks, Sean. Have you shoes?